So lastly, I want to go to the product and I just want to use this product as an example of which development should we go in if we're looking to invest, looking to, to build our retirement nest, most importantly. So choosing a right product, um, this is, of course, some of my colleagues also shared with me, so it's not entirely my own work only. But I, I think that if you want to choose a product, this is the framework we should choose. Four most important and four pass. What do they mean? Four most important are kind of like my non-negotiables. They must meet the four most important before you can buy. The four pass, it's good that they have it. If they don't have it, it's not a deal breaker still. So I acronym them as SMRT pass. So what I mean by soap units percentage plus movement. So for example, if a development is about, um, let's say, most importantly is if they are selling, are they selling every week? So if they are selling about 20%, 30%, it's not a good indication. If you are selling 20-30%, but they are still selling 50 units every month, then this development will pass by this soap unit percentage plus movement. On the contrary, if a development is 50% soap, let's say 1,000 units, 50% soap, 500 units soap, but they are only selling maybe two units a month or one unit a month, then it does not qualify. So, so percentage unit and movement goes hand in hand. They have to be very, uh, they have to be moving la, most importantly. Okay, next is margin gap. Margin gap is basically the development, the developer at what price they buy, at, at what break even cost, and what price they sell. So for example, if their break even cost is 1,000, they are selling at 1,001, okay, 10% profit, or they're selling at 1,002, 20% profit, fair enough. But if the uh, break-even cost is 1,000, and they sell at 1,005, 1,008 per square feet, then they fill my margin gap uh, requirement. Third is rentability. Rentability depends on the re uh, recent transaction around the vicinity. So we can look for a few key areas, whether are there schools, whether are there industries nearby, whether are there offices. Um, so all these things contribute to rentability. And the best indication is to check the recent rental transaction around the vicinity. Lastly is transformation. Transformation is quite important uh, because if you buy into an area, the best is there are future developments like High Park just now I showed you because of Park Botania nearby. Um, they, uh, they, they, they are priced, uh, they can sell even before TOP and the buyers make money. So are there transformation more than just other developments? Are there new MRT lines, for example? Are there new industries being built? Like for example, if you talk about uh, High Park area, for example, there was Salita Aerospace being built, Pongo Digital District being built, which affects the prices there. Four passes, primary school. Are there primary school or even international schools nearby? Amenities, are there MRT or malls? Size, generally, best is to buy above 200 units. Yeah. Lastly is what are the surrounding supply and demand? How, how, how is the supply and demand doing nearby? Lah? So today I will just use one example, the Florence Residences. And I will go through the first four most important one and I will end my presentation here. So Florence Residences, uh, how do you find a break-even price? Uh, of course, you can ask me for a break-even price, but sometimes they even report it on the newspaper. For example, in Straits Times, this is on Straits Times. Uh, Florence break-even cost, around, okay, land cost. Sorry, then cost 842 PSF PPR. So we do some calculations apart from land cost, you have your labor cost, material cost, construction cost, marketing cost, legal cost. So we add up to about four, five hundred per square feet, 
which we have a matrix to estimate. Lah. It's still estimated. So break even cost is about 1365 per square feet. So if you can buy a unit at 1400, it's generally quite safe. 10% profit is only 1501. Even buying a 10% profit, I think it's fine. Yeah. So second, we track the rentability. So this is an example of Stars of Coven. Stars of Coven is pretty near Florence Residences. So they TOP in December 2019. So four months, four months they rented close to 80 units. So you can see page one to eight, each page about 10 listings. So 80 units in four months, quite a healthy rental transaction. Next, we look at transformation. So Florence Residence, they said, this is the master plan. So this color is the light beige color, you call it, uh, is residential. So Florence Residence uh, is being built here. 450 meter, as you can see, the line that I drew, is to the future MRT Cross Island Line, which is the outcome interchange. There is a plot. 2 slash 3 zone for residential. So they could make it one land or they could cut this big piece of land into two. We don't know. So there's potentially two plots of land there, if not at least one plot of residential land. There is also a plot 1, which is a mixed development near the Aukang MRT. So you have at least two big plot of land to three plot of lands around Florence residences that have yet to be announced on a government land sale. So this is another um, like like the high park like that. When the when high park was launched, the next plot of land have wasn't wasn't launched yet. So this is a like history repeating itself. Lah. So that's why my client committed to Florence residences. So this is the outcome station uh, that I talked about earlier. So this is an example of my client buying a unit at 0644. So 0644 was transacted at 690, one bedroom in June 2018. Today, a fourth floor, not transacted yet, is selling at 721. So meaning uh, six floor is two story higher than level four. Ma. So if six floor is if four floor is seven to one, today's six floor will be minimum plus three K. Oh yeah, maybe I just write here to write. So seven seven to one K plus three K per floor plus three K. So at least seven to seven. At least two seven to seven at today's market. But what is six floor purchase at? Six ninety. So paper gain is about thirty seven thousand. And I'm not just talking about thirty seven thousand. It's about return on their equity because they only need to down. 25%. So, so let's say 25% of 690. I hope you're following me. Because a uh, maximum loan is 75%. So 25% down payment and they make 37k. So we use a simple 37k divide by the 25% down payment. Times a hundred percent. So it's about twenty one point four percent in terms of ROE return on the equity, at least. So I would say this is a pretty safe development to buy at the time. But are there still good units here? Let's look. So I look uh, at the development in totality. Even at 721, the per square feet is about still under 1.5. So it was still an okay buy. 
at least to me. Lah. Sorry, ten minutes. Yeah. So 21.4% ROE. So are there still units you can look at? So I don't want to go into too in depth, it takes up too much time. So for one bedroom, there are a few stacks we still can potentially look. Maybe by the time you look for me, they may be sold. But there are still units that you can see, like for example, stack 35, 36, uh, 733. Or uh, one plus study zero two zero two over here, seven nine six k under eight hundred thousand to get a one bedroom in this vicinity is still relatively a good buy I would say. So if you want to know more in depth, you can always contact me. So that's the end of my presentation. Florence is just an example of a development that you can potentially look into. But if you want to look at other developments and projects, feel free to contact me and I'll analyze for you based on my SMRT pass. If they pass those funnels, if they pass those funnels, then we can then zoom in to the units. Yeah. So most importantly, don't overstretch your finances. So if you want to contact me, you can take down my number and and or just follow me in any of my social media tools. So that's all for today. Um, uh, hope to hear from you soon.